Julie Payette. She served the Canadian Space Agency as an astronaut in two missions from NASA in 1999 and 2009 as a mission specialist and as a flight engineer. Her work has included docking with the International Space Station, supervising spacewalks, and operating robotic arms on space shuttles. From 2000 to 2007, she was chief astronaut for the CSA and continues her work at Mission Control Center in Houston. Julie Payette was born in Montreal, Quebec in 1963 and as a youngster was fascinated by space travel. I have always wanted to fly, she says. I watched the Apollo missions on television and wanted to be an astronaut. I saw the astronauts preparing for flight, watched the rocket launching, and saw the astronauts walking on the moon and driving the lunar vehicle, thinking, I would like to do that. She entered McGill University and graduated with a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering in 1986. After graduating from McGill, she conducted research in computer systems, language processing, and automatic speech recognition, and earned a Master of Applied Science degree in computer engineering from the University of Toronto in 1990. In June 1992, the Canadian Space Agency, CSA, selected Ms. Payette from 5,330 applicants to become one of four astronauts. After basic training in Canada, Ms. Payette worked as a technical advisor for the mobile servicing system Canadarm2, the advanced robotic system contributed by Canada to the International Space Station. Starting with a private pilot's license obtained at the Ottawa Flying Club in 1993, Julie Payette then gained operational experience as a jet pilot by earning her wings at 15-wing CFB Moose Jaw flying the Tudor CT-114 jet, the same aircraft used by Canada's famed Snowbirds demonstration team. A career serving as a Canadian in the Nassau Astronaut Corps was next. In 1996, she was deployed by the Canadian Space Agency to the Johnson Space Centre in Houston, Texas, Nassau's Human Space Flight Training Centre. Julie Payette flew her first space flight on Space Shuttle Discovery, from May 27th to June 6, 1999, as a crew member on STS-96. During the mission, the crew performed the first manual docking of the shuttle to the International Space Station and delivered four tons of supplies. On that flight, Ms. Payette served as a mission specialist, was responsible for the station systems, supervised the spacewalk, and operated the Canadarm robotic arm. The mission was accomplished in 153 orbits of the Earth, more than 6 million kilometers in almost 10 days. She became the first Canadian to board the International Space Station when construction had just begun on it. Today, the International Space Station is a fully functional space laboratory where astronauts live and work. One of the biggest privileges of going to space is to see the Earth from above, says Payette, to see the thinness of its atmosphere, the vastness of its oceans, the beauty of its continents. Our planet is a magnificent blue marble against the black backdrop of space. From September 1999 to December 2002, Ms. Payette was assigned to represent the astronaut corps at the European and Russian space agencies, where she supervised procedure development, equipment verification, and space hardware processing for the International Space Station program. She then spent several years at Mission Control Center in Houston as a specialist responsible for all communications between the ground and astronauts in orbit. From 2000 to 2007, Julie Payette was chief astronaut for the Canadian Space Agency. In July 2009, she was back in space, flying as the flight engineer aboard the space shuttle Endeavour on mission STS-127 to deliver spare parts and install laboratory elements on the International Space Station. Doing the job required five spacewalks. She helped to fly the spacecraft and operated three robotic arms, including Canadarm, the shuttle robotic arm, Canadarm-2, the station robotic arm, 
and a special purpose Japanese arm. While the shuttle was docked at the station, the mission included a record 13 astronauts from five different nationalities working together on a single joint spacecraft. The STS-127 mission was accomplished in 16 days. It was also the first instance when two Canadians were in space at the same time, the other being Robert Thursk, who was launched from Russia to spend six months aboard the International Space Station, returning to our planet in November 2009. Julie Payette regards her work as flight engineer on the space shuttle as a professional highlight. In the three-person shuttle cockpit, the flight engineer is the most senior mission specialist assignment and the only position available to a non-American astronaut. During the dynamic phases of flight, the ascent, orbital maneuvering, and re-entry, Payette's duties included overseeing actions of the pilot and the commander, ensuring that proper procedures were followed in the correct order, monitoring the spacecraft systems, diagnosing issues, and guiding the crew's corrective attempts. As an astronaut, Julie Payette epitomizes the highly educated and talented individuals with specialized training who serve as astronauts. With completion of two space flights, her logbook lists 1,350 hours of flight time on more than 40 different aircraft and 611 hours in space. She has realized her childhood dream and is an inspiration to others who aspire to lofty goals. Her advice to young people is to find their passion and work towards accomplishment of what they want to be. In doing that herself, Ms. Payette has been honored many times. Recognized with academic awards and scholarships as a student, she is the recipient of 15 honorary doctorates from Canadian universities and has been inducted as a Chevalier of the Order of Quebec. Julie Payette has two sons and is married to Billy Flynn, retired as a Lieutenant Colonel from the Canadian Forces after having served as Commanding Officer of 441 Squadron at Cold Lake, Alberta and commanding a Canadian task force in combat over Kosovo. He now flies as a test pilot for Lockheed Martin. Julie Payette has twice visited the International Space Station and has flown on both the Discovery and Endeavour space shuttles as a Canadian serving with an international team. Although she has returned to Earth after completion of missions, she has no plans for retirement. She looks forward to new challenges with the Canadian Space Agency in the years ahead. Julie Payette was inducted as a member of Canada's Aviation Hall of Fame at ceremonies held in Richmond, British Columbia on June 10, 2010.